Let's turn 2023 into your best year yet as you build your dream handmade business from scratch. So in the spirit of the new year, we're all for exploring new opportunities that will lead us to have a special, fulfilling, and happy year ahead. If you've been thinking about putting up a business but you don't know the specifics yet, come watch this video. My name is Mae Park. I help makers, artists, and designers start their own handmade businesses and make a living from selling their own crafts online. Last year, I uploaded a video about the top 10 trending handmade products to sell in 2022. This year, I'm going to help you decide what unique handmade products you can sell and earn potentially a lot of money from. Now, I get it. You're excited about the idea of building a business where you can sell your own work. But at the same time, you might be terrified of what could go wrong because starting a business is scary, especially if you don't have any background in running a business. There are a lot of limiting beliefs about starting an online business. Maybe you're thinking that you're not good enough or that people might not find your work very impressive or that your idea is a little bit too unique and maybe it won't sell. And you're afraid to fail and lose time, money, and energy. I understand where you're coming from. I get it. I am a perfectionist and I always want things to start right. So to help you get out of overthinking and figure out the first step in building your handmade business, I have prepared a list of 10 handmade business ideas that you can explore today for this year. I put this list together after seeing which handmade products are growing in terms of popularity on Etsy and also on TikTok. So let's get started. Amigurumi plushies. Amigurumi plushies are popular crochet products. They are so cute. The word amigurumi is a blend of two Japanese words, ami, which means crocheted or knitted, and nuigurumi, which means a stuffed doll. So basically, amigurumi are three-dimensional crocheted stuffed toys. And like, people of all ages love plushies, right? Children love cuddling with them, while adults love making or collecting them. Plushies have been around for a long time and they are still popular handmade products that people love even to this day. So there are definitely going to be people buying it. Tufted rugs. Speaking of soft and fluffy, tufted rugs are also good products that you might want to look into selling this year. These tufted rugs can be made by hand or using a specialized tufting gun. I even saw some people making tufted coasters, cushion covers, and even mirror frames. These are amazing ways to add your personal touch and like a splash of color and texture to your home, right? It improves your overall interior design and gives off a really comfortable and cozy vibe. Tufted rugs are trendy items that people find nice to have because they're fuzzy, warm, and luxurious. Flower arrangements. Flowers never go out of style whether we're talking about dried or fresh and everyone loves a pick-me-up and receiving flowers always does the trick. You can create colorful bouquets, corsages, centerpieces, and ornaments. Floral design is pretty easy to learn and there are so many designs that you can make. We get flowers simply because they're pretty, right? And because we want to feel happy. So whether it's a gift for any occasion or like a fresh home decoration or just to completely change your mood, flowers do the trick. Flower arrangements are also timeless products that you can sell and the demand is only growing. Stickers and stationery. Did you know that putting up a sticker business opens up a whole new world of possibilities? The sticker market is so big right now, there are so many sticker enthusiasts and collectors out there. And by designing your own stickers, you can express your unique art style. Some sticker products you can sell are planner stickers, deco stickers, and wall decals. People love using stickers to personalize their favorite things like their journals, their phone cases, laptops, and so on. And stickers are typically used to express people's personalities and display their passions and interests. These are great conversation starters as well. So for example, if you see someone at the coffee store whose phone has a sticker for parks and recreation, you automatically find something in common between you two and then maybe strike up a conversation and make a new friend. Stickers represent something in a person's life, right? This is especially true for Gen Z, but even millennials and Gen X love collecting stickers too. Resin lamps. 
Resin is a popular medium these days, and the typical handmade resin product you'll find online are coasters, trinket dishes, and keychains. So why not specialize in a sub-niche within that, which is to make resin lamps, like nightstands, and bring a new idea to the market. If you're already comfortable using resin, then all you need besides that is lamp-based wiring. Resin lamps provide mood lighting that people enjoy when they're relaxing at home. And typically, resin lamps also feature unique and beautiful works of art that, when you turn on the lamp, produces really interesting and cool shadow figures. There are a lot of reasons why people love resin lamps, as the resin art market is also steadily growing as a niche. Unique scented candles. Scented candles sell really well. For many years now, people have loved buying and using scented candles. But instead of selling basic scented candles, why not explore creating candles with unique designs and scents? There are thousands of different techniques out there to create beautiful styles. For example, you can add other media like dried flowers or even crystal chips into the candle vessel, or you can use intricate silicon molds to make realistic designs. Designing candles can be a fun experiment, and people seem to really love having pretty candles to decorate their homes with. Also, since everything that happened in the last couple of years, you know what I'm talking about, more people have bought and collected scented candles to bring a little bit of more, you know, peace into our private spaces as we're all stuck at home or at least spending more time at home. Scented candles help reduce anxiety and set up the atmosphere to just improve your mood and the demand for scented candles I'm seeing isn't ending anytime soon. Tinted lip balms. Now, I know lip balms aren't new and there are a lot of businesses out there already selling handmade lip balms. Since these are essentials in everyday life, lip balms are another product that has proven to sell well and are likely to continue in the future. But you're probably thinking if everyone else is already selling it, how do you stand out? So, to stand out in the lip balm space, you can explore making lots of different flavored, scented, and tinted lip balms. Stand out in that way. You can also create your own signature formula. Plus, people love buying organic and handmade lip balms rather than the commercial and synthetic ones. Printed tote bags. Design your own art prints and get them printed on tote bags. This is a stylish yet practical way to get your art seen in public. As a form of self-expression, people love buying wearables with designs that clearly express their personalities. Other products you can print your designs on are pouches, coin purses, t-shirts, obviously, and even face masks. People love collecting tote bags. They're super practical. You bring them to the store, you put your groceries in them. You can't just have one tote bag, so people love collecting them. The only thing you need to stand out in the tote bag competition is your original designs and then focusing in on a specific niche. If your target audience loves your designs, you will be able to sell a lot of tote bags and grow your business relatively easily. Bento cakes. Now, this one is for all of you food businesses out there. Who says handmade are just, you know, home decor and jewelry and other wearables, right? Now, with the rise of bento, mini or lunchbox cakes, you can put your creativity to good use by decorating these small cakes using different colored frosting and make trendy designs out of them. Because of what's been happening the last few years, a lot of us have stopped hosting big celebrations, so having smaller, more minimalist cakes have become more appropriate. We don't have to have a cake that's so big to feed a lot of people anymore, so having these smaller, cuter cakes is actually more inexpensive and kind of fun to eat. Enamel pins. Yet another product that you can design on your own are enamel pins. These tiny pins are usually overlooked accessories that can subtly personalize your whole look. Create custom designs and pin them on jean jackets, backpacks, or hats. Enamel pins are really popular in the fashion industry since it adds a lot to your outfit. It makes you feel cute and expressive. Just like stickers, enamel pins also allow people to display their personality, only this time in the form of little tiny fashion accessories. There are a lot of opportunities you can tap into in this handmade business space online. So why not try exploring a little bit more on platforms like, you know, Skillshare, YouTube, even Udemy. You can learn a lot of new skills this year and use that in building a business, whether these skills are creative skills like painting or crocheting, or even administrative skills like marketing and sales. Learning will be a big help when you're still starting out. 
It's so easy these days to learn specific skills. So it's up to you to carve your own path on how you're going to build your own business this year. So let me know which of these handmade business ideas you think you'll explore this year. Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a two thumbs up and subscribe. Stay on to watch this next video on the screen.